Welcome to another YouTube video. Um, coming towards the end of the year, just before Christmas, and I thought I'd do a couple of year in review videos, see how I progress. My whole idea with my YouTube channel is to put video. Well, I started it about a year ago. Um, is to show how an aspiring singer-songwriter try my career develops, um, starting from. I don't already be able to play the guitar and wrote a few songs, but starting from writing songs, just going out performing, releasing my own music digitally, um, and the, the achievements that I've, um, that, I've, that I've done this year. So this is going to go from January through to end of June, see what we've done. Um, so starting off about a year ago, I decided to take singing, singing and songwriting very seriously. I'd um, been playing the guitar for a long time, I wrote a few other songs. And everything. So, go in there. Thank you. So, um, yeah, so I was to take things a bit more seriously. I want to try and make a career, um, see how far I could go with it and everything. So, what I did was um, I started writing a couple of new songs, and one was called Good to Be Free. And I think that was the first one. Yeah, that was the first one. It's called Good to Be Free. And, um, yeah, it's quite a good song and it sort of set me off on that um, whole thing of to continue writing. So I launched a YouTube channel about a year ago and I put an early demo of that. I've since hidden that video because it's absolutely awful. Um, like really awful. But um, yeah, so in January I wrote that song and I had the opportunity to go into a studio for free at Hull College with a guy who was looking for, I think he was doing like a, a course, a degree in music production and someone to go in and record a couple of songs. Um, so I did, I went in with acoustic guitar, just acoustic guitar, one track, and vocals, another track. Um, so it was good being in a, it's a good experience being in a studio environment, just seeing how things worked, the recording process. Um, quite pleased they both, I did, Good to be free and just enough, which is a song I had for a long time. Um, did them both in one take, the guitar playing, which I'm quite proud of. Because obviously you're nervous and stuff and you make mistakes. And Good to be free as well, because the new song at the time. Um, and then the vocals in sort of one one take. Um, looking back, I think they're both on my SoundCloud. I may have hidden them because they're pretty awful. My voice is absolutely atrocious. Um, it's developed as we've got along, and I'm still a work in progress, but. Back then it was really awful, um, but it was a good experience and I had two studio quality recordings to put up on um, social media and just to try and get a bit of traction, a bit of attention and things. So yeah, that was like, I'm reading this off the list because I wrote down everything that I've achieved. Um, also there's a competition for Record Store Day, which I think is every January, possibly early February, I think it's every January, and I submitted a recording of myself just on the video of one of my older songs called Can't Be Bothered. Um, into that competition. It was on their website and it got me a lot of traffic to my YouTube channel so it really helped a lot. Um, obviously I didn't win um, but it was a good experience and hopefully they're going to do the same thing this year. I haven't heard anything yet about it but I'm hoping so. Um, I'll enter it again with one of my newer, newer songs but it got me some good views and um, a little bit of exposure so I really enjoyed that. Um, and about January I think I did my first gig might have been February, no, first gig was in March, right, so February I wrote Sambas and Cigarettes, which was a um, departure for me from my usual sort of writing, it's real catchy, um, good hook and everything, and it's, I hope, pretty much open all my gigs through that song, I'm uh, really proud of it, on my YouTube there's some recordings of it, um, do, doing it live, um, I'll probably release it as a single at some point in the future, it's an amazing song just needs the production that it deserves really so you need to sort out lead guitar part for it and everything. Um, yes yeah, so I wrote that back in February and I started vlogging as well. So my first video log ever was in February. So I'll do regular vlogs if you're new to this channel. Um, about one a month or one every couple of weeks or something. Um, just to see how my career's progressing. So my first ever vlog was in uh, February. So in March I wrote a song called Brother, it's a real personal song for me about my best friend growing up um, and I'm really proud of that song and um, good lyrics, I think it's really coming to my own with uh, 
lyric writing and it sort of wrote itself the story and I drew on real experiences everything in the song's true um, it's on my YouTube there's live versions um, in the studio or home studio version of it as well it's kicking about um, and I did the first ever gig at the Corn Exchange thanks to Darren at Music HQ put up the courage to get in touch and say you can have a slot on the acoustic night on um, Tuesday it's still going strong, let's move located to the service station in town. Um, it's an amazing evening, loads of different performers and that was I remember being extremely nervous, um, like so nervous, like no audience contact whatsoever, just looking down and playing. Um, but I think I can let myself off with that with my first time playing live. Um, obviously quite a few mistakes, didn't have as many decent tunes because I went on to write more, more tunes as we go along. Um, but it was an amazing experience and it got me off the mark playing live, made a few contacts, you know, in terms of people that just got to know um, the other musicians and I enjoyed watching other people perform. Um, they're amazing nights every Tuesday, I think it's from 8 to about 11, you get yourself down, it's like free, um, and see some amazing people playing. Okay, so in April, what I did was I... I was looking for a way to release my music online to get it on Spotify, Amazon, um, Deezer, Google Music, like all the music um, hosting sites really, um, and Apple, iTunes, iStore. <coughs> Excuse me. So I applied to a company who basically do it all for you. It's like take a small percentage, but um, you upload the music and the artwork, and they decide to um, and they put it all on these sites for you. So I did that and I wrote um, the future single Swipe Right in April. I was glad to be accepted for that by the way. And um, they don't just accept anybody, you've got to have a certain standard for commercial success. Looks like the postman's been. So let's have a look. This for oh it's for daddy. Another one. That's for anybody. B and Q. Thank you. So let's move the door. Let's pause that a second. Okay, we're back. Um, that was the postman, although he didn't actually knock at the door. Um, yeah, so I wrote Swipe Right in that month as well. Um, went on to record it and release it as a single in August, July, end of July. Um, again, it just shows how my songwriting has developed and took my own horn. But it's a real nice summer song um, about this world of online dating and people getting messed about until you find the person that you know, somebody that you're going to be with forever, um, somebody just like you. Um, so yeah, or just like me, just like yourself. So, really proud of that song. Um, and it made me think, well, I can write some decent songs here. So, that was in April. Now, in May, I played at the Cottingham Springboard Festival. Um, stuck my neck out, neck out, applied for a slot, played at CC Coffee. Thanks to Ed and Tom for putting me on. Um, I was playing early on the Saturday night, I'd say. Sa Saturday night, pretty early, about seven o'clock or something, which, which was fine to go out later and, and catch the other acts and the other venues and stuff. Um, it was busy. Um, looking back, my performance wasn't as good as it would be now, but obviously it's I've developed six months down the line. Um, and again, I didn't have half the songs that I've got written now either. Uh, but it went well. Um, a little bit nervous, but wasn't too bad. Um, some recordings from that performance on my YouTube channel, so you can check them out, my, my videos. Um, but yeah, that was um, a really good experience, and I think for being such a new musician on the scene, to get the opportunity to play at Springboard was uh, really huge for me, and I'm hoping to play this year, this year as well, next year. All right, in June I wrote Rescue Me, which was um, another really good tune, quite a simple song, um, I play it live quite often. Um, again, it's good enough to be a single release, which may come down the line. Um, and I played at the Humber Dock Acoustic Festival, which was at Humber Dock, um, um, down the quayside at, um, in Hull, city centre. Um, really good opportunity for me, and it was a really red hot day. Um, I was outside, like a canopy over me, and that was a, an amazing experience. Those people sat on the tables across the way, outside drinking, um, amazing atmosphere. Um, so that's that was really good. Um, in fact, it's probably my favourite gig I've played. To be honest, like playing outside, it's proper festival vibe. Um, so it was good to have that. And 
that takes us up to the end of June. So the next video is going to be July to December, the present day. So, um, so I think the first half of the year, I wrote three really good songs. I think I wrote a couple more in between that weren't as good. I'm still tinkering with, you know, still playing with um, to fully develop. Develop, and these other three are like things that are just like I wrote them straight away, and I thought, wow, they're going to be like really good songs. So I played. Um, I think, yeah, and I played more gigs in between um, that Corn Exchange one in February. I think I was playing regularly at the Boathouse um, and again at Corn Exchange and um, Service Station between that, that time as well. And what well, else? Jazz Bar as well. So, um, yeah, that's the first half of the year. These things were progressing nicely and they just get better. Thank you for watching and um, hope you made it to the end. And please stick around for part two. Thank you. Bye.